Hi right, everyone, I'm just gonna give you a quick update today. I'll be on the trip for two weeks uh, on the Gold Coast and in Cairns. And the thing is, uh, I need to think of a setup which is lighter and easier to carry because uh, I have the 1DX Mark II and then I used to have the 5D Mark III and the 5D Mark III is good. I can carry it around, it's, it's easy to carry. It's like light and yeah, I really love holding it. But the thing is, the 1DX Mark II has this somewhat like a grip and it's so bulky. Whenever I put it in a bag, it doesn't fit well because the lens is protruding and there's, you know, it doesn't fit the most bags. And this time I'll be on a trip for two weeks, road tripping. Uh, I want to carry something light. So I tried to have this setup. This was my first setup here. This is the RX100. And I was trying to force myself to use this for vlogging and for photos because this has a very good sensor. I believe there's a, a new one that came out now which is the RX100 Mark VI which is a 24 to 200 zoom. This is a 2470 full frame equivalent zoom but the thing is the aperture is around 1.8 to 2.8. It's a very good camera. Uh, I was I was uh, convinced to use this on uh, in the whole trip but uh, the thing is I just realized I love wide angles. I love wide, wide shots like whenever I travel I want to get everything up. This is a 24mm and I usually use the 1740. It's short for me. I was really having a hard time till Aldine let me his A6500. A6, there it is. This is the A6500 which is one of the Sony's best small camera. It's a crop sensor. I have the 10 to 18 zoom which is super wide. It's light. Easy to carry. So from a 1DX, which is very big, I'm trying out two Sony cameras for this trip. That's a bit of a risk because uh, I have been a Canon shooter for a long time already. I used to be a Nikon shooter, but I've moved to Canon. Now Canon's not doing anything to update their system or anything like that. So I'm getting 4K from the Sony with these small bodies. I'm going to have two Sonys on this trip. It's a bit of a risk because I really love the Canon colors. But let's do this. Also, I was supposed to use this one here for vlogging. And this is what I use with the 1DX Mark II. It's a big one. But I decided to go smaller. So I got this. This is the Siroi. I think I have a review of this one. Siroi, it's a, it's a small tripod. You can just do this. And yeah, it's a small tripod. And you can use it as a selfie stick and you can make it longer. So the thing is, this is a, an Arca Swiss clamp. I have one here so you can just go ahead and clip it that way. So it's easier to move around. So yeah, that's my light setup for two weeks. It's a bit hard. And the good thing about using the A6500 as the, the camera to travel is that this is the charger. This is the battery. The batteries are not good. It's really sucky. But if you're gonna use the 1DX Mark II as the traveling camera, it's a very good camera. It's very awesome. But this is the charger. This is how big the charger is. This is the battery. Oh, this is the battery. Look how big the battery is. So if you're gonna carry this big battery with this, with that big camera, which I'm recording on, and this big charger, you're not traveling light. It's gonna be bulky, it's gonna be big. So yeah, I've decided to carry these small cameras here. I just hope the low light's good because I'm really a sucker for low lights. I shoot daylight photos, but with low light, it, they're really good. Like you can make a lot of edits with it. I don't know, I just love night shots or like the yeah, shadows and everything. Anyway, yeah, and another thing, I'm not using that big microphone or this small microphone. I'm still thinking about it. I like this more small microphone because uh, it's small and it has a wind muff on it, but that one has a very good quality with audio, but it's just big and bulky. I might stick with this because I want to go light, small, light, and easy to carry. Mm. Let me try put this up here. 
this is how it looks it looks good with the rx100 it looks good with this one on it so that's it and what else yeah i think that's my setup for the next two weeks wish me luck i'll try to bring a lot of photos a lot of videos on that trip and yeah i don't know the only thing that i did have small though is that i have a 50, 15 inch macbook pro i used to have the mac air 11 which is very handy for traveling i sold it laura has a mac air 11 but it's not that powerful unlike this one for video editing everything else so i might just as well bring my mac macbook pro 15 to edit on the road yeah so hopefully i can get good shots well that's all for now just a quick update and i'm heading to sleep because i've been stressed lately this week i've been yeah stressed out